Hello friend, today I would like to discuss a new chapter of Mathematics 2, chapter number 6 and the name of chapter is Skewness and Kurtosis. Now, let's see the definition of Skewness and Kurtosis. First of all, Skewness. Skewness is a lack of symmetry. What do you mean by symmetry? I will tell you symmetry ka matlab kya hai. Now, if the distribution is not symmetrical, then there is a skewness. Once again, a word is used as symmetrical. So, symmetry ka matlab, mein aage bolne wala ho. Now, there are two types of skewness in this chapter. Let's see the types of skewness. First of all, there is positive skewness and second type is negative skewness. Ab iska bhi matlab kya hai? Main aage bolne wala hu. Now, after this type, no skewness. Now, what do you mean by no skewness? Let's uh, check this chart. If you see the curve and x axis and y axis. Suppose horizontal axis is x axis and vertical axis is y axis. Or agar mene a curve draw kiya, that curve is bell shaped curve. Bell malo mein aapko, bell shaped curve. Mandir mein aapne bell rekha hoga. That is bell shaped curve, symmetrical. And because of y axis, it is divided equally. It is called as symmetrical curve. So, in this case, if you find mode, median, and arithmetic mean for no skewness, the values of mode, median, and arithmetic mean are same. Because if I divide the curve ko equally, divide kar dao, symmetrical, then obviously arithmetic mean, median, and mode. Ye tino ka answer aapko same hi milega. So, our final result is arithmetic mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Now, let's check second point. Positive skewness. Ye meaning samajhne ke liye aap pehle diagram dekho kaisa hai. Horizontal axis, mein x axis draw kiya. Uske baad curve ka direction dekho aur y axis dekho kaisa hai. This curve is called as positively skewed curve. Q positively skewed? Because this curve ka maximum part ye towards positive direction of x axis. Aya hua hai. Positive direction of x axis. This is positive skewness. Bol de. Now, for positive skewness, mode then median dekho kaha pe aega aur arithmetic mean dekho kaha pe aega. Suppose in this case if curve is positively skewed or if distribution is positively skewed to hamara mean median or mode ka consideration kaise rahega. In this case arithmetic mean is higher because in diagram you show arithmetic mean sabse right hand side pe dikha hai zara arithmetic mean then median at middle level and left hand side pe mode hai. So in this case of positive skewness, your arithmetic mean answer is higher. Then second position pe median aega and your lower answer is mode. So yaad rakho for positive skewness, your arithmetic mean is greater than median which is greater than mode. And let's see third part that is negative skewness. First draw x axis or up curve dekhte ho or y axis dekhte ho. So, ye curve ka maximum part ye towards left side of x axis gaya. Towards negative side of x axis gaya hua hai. That's why this distribution is called as negative skewness. So, for negative skewness, what is the consideration for arithmetic mean, median and mode? Let's check. First of all, locate mode, then locate median and then arithmetic mean. So, mujhe abhi bolo, isme sabse lowest kon rahega? 
obviously arithmetic mean is lowest in case of negative skewness then median and finally highest value is mode so here condition is mode is greater than median which is greater than arithmetic mean maine aapko wahi bola bhi arithmetic mean ye sabse kam hoga then median and highest is mode now let's check what do you mean by moderately symmetrical distribution in this case our formula is mean minus mode is equal to 3 into bracket mean minus median symmetrical distribution symmetrical distribution mein hum log ka jo curve hai wo bell shaped hota hai in that case our formula is ye important formula hai mean minus mode is equal to 3 into bracket mean minus median so iske symbol mean ka symbol hai x bar minus mode is z which is equal to 3 into bracket mean is once again x bar minus median now next point is carl pearson's coefficient of skewness this concept is very much important from exam point of view ye exam mein 2 ya 3 marks ke liye aa sakta hai now the symbol is sk p sk stands for skewness and p stands for pearson so skp is equal to mean minus mode divided by standard deviation exam mein wo log calculate karne ko bolenge calculate carl pearson's coefficient of skewness so formula of coefficient of skewness is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation which is equal to x bar which is the symbol of mean minus mode ka symbol z divided by standard deviation is sigma now if mode is not given in problem in certain problem mode is not given then skewness ka formula hai 3 into bracket mean minus median divided by standard deviation aisa kyu क्योंकि आप फर्स्ट पॉइंट देखो वहां पे लिखा है मीन माइनस मोड इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू मीन माइनस मीडियन एंड इफ यू कंपेयर टू फॉर्मूले ऑफ एस के बी फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला में न्यूमरेटर क्या है मीन माइनस मोड एंड फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला क्या दिखाई दे रहा है मीन माइनस मोड इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट मीन माइनस मीडियन सो अल्टीमेटली फॉर दिस टू फॉर्मूले अवर न्यूमरेटर इज सेम फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला का न्यूमरेटर मीन माइनस मोड एंड सेकंड फॉर्मूला न्यूमरेटर इज थ्री इंटू मीन माइनस मीडियन अपॉन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ये डिनोमिनेटर में सेम रहेगा विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू ब्रैकेट वट इज द सिंबल ऑफ मीन इट इज एक्स बार माइनस मीडियन डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा वो है स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन का सिंबॉल नाउ इंटरप्रिटेशन देखते इफ coefficient of skewness of pearson is zero then distribution is symmetric aapko kya karna hai first you have to calculate skp and if the answer of skp is equal to zero then you must write distribution is symmetric on last line ye likhna nahi bhulne ka then second possibility If SKP is greater than zero, मुझे बोलो मैथ्स में इफ अ नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो उसको हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं ये इट इज पॉजिटिव नंबर सिमिलरली इफ एस के बी इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन अवर स्क्यूनेस इज पॉजिटिव स्क्यूनेस सो इफ यूर आंसर और फाइनल आंसर इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन लास्ट टाइम पे इंटरप्रिटेशन लिखने का द स्क्यूनेस इज positive skewness and third possibility if skp is less than 0 in mathematics once again if a number is less than 0 then that number is called as negative number so if skp is less than 0 then skewness is obviously negative skewness now 
The next concept, Bowley's coefficient of skewness. It depends on quartiles. Quartiles manu mein kabhi hua tha? Yes, partition values mein quartiles hua tha. Depending upon quartiles, let's check out Bowley's coefficient of skewness. And the symbol is SK. SK means skewness and B stands for Bowley's. Its formula hai Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 Q2 divided by Q3 minus Q1. This is the formula of Bowley's coefficient of skewness which is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2 median because there are 3 quartiles Q1, Q2 and Q3. So ultimately, हम लोग Q2 को क्या बोलते हैं? Q2 को median भी बोला जाता है. इसलिए Q2 के जगह पे आप median भी लिख सकते हो. Divided by Q3 minus Q1. Now, we can write SKB in another manner. Q3 minus Q2 minus Q2 minus Q1 divided by Q3 minus Q2 plus Q2 minus Q1. ये याद रखने के लिए भी सिंपल है और ये कैसे आया? See if you see first formula very carefully, the last term of numerator is 2Q2. 2Q2 को सेपरेट करो Q2 एंड Q2. तो पहला वाला Q2 अब Q3 के साथ लाओगे तो Q3 minus Q2 first bracket बन जाएगा. Then minus करो common sign निकालो तो Q2 माइनस q1 आएगा न्यूमरेटर के सेकंड ब्रैकेट में डिवाइडेड बाय q3 माइनस q2 प्लस q2 माइनस q1 दिस इज द अनदर फार्मूला ऑफ बाउलीज कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस नाउ लेट्स चेक नेक्स्ट फार्मूला पियर्सन्स कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस दैट इज बीटा 1 नाउ बीटा 1 का फार्मूला है म्यू 3 का स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय म्यू 2 का क्यूब mu3 and mu2 these two moments hai mu2 is second moment and mu3 is third moment so mu3 square upon mu2 ka cube now remember 2 3 3 2 vertically ye 2 3 3 2 aap mu3 ka square aur mu2 ka cube concentrate karo aur wo vertically dekho wo 2 3 3 2 aise vertically ja raha hai so as mu पावर देखो 2 है देन 3 आया अगेन पावर 3 एंड देन 2 सो so, याद रखने के लिए 2 3 3 2 वर्टिकली याद रखते हो तो वो हो जाएगा म्यू 3 का स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय म्यू 2 का क्यूब दिस इज पियर्सन्स कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस देन इफ म्यू 3 इज इक्वल टू 0 देन आवर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज सिमेट्रिक सेकंड पॉसिबिलिटी if mu3 is greater than 0, obviously, then distribution is positively skewed. Ye, mene apko last time bhi bataya tha, if number is greater than 0, then obviously, hum log likhenge distribution is positively skewed. And last time, if mu3 is less than 0, then distribution is negatively skewed. Now, after that, next concept is gamma 1. Gamma 1 ka formula hai plus or minus root mein beta 1. After the calculation of beta 1, you have to calculate gamma 1. And the gamma 1 formula is plus or minus root mein beta 1. Note, sine of gamma 1 is same as sine of mu 3. Means, if mu 3 is positive, then your gamma 1 is positive. And if mu 3 is negative, your final answer of gamma 1 will be negative. So, ye dono ka sign same hoga. 